Well, waiting for an organ transplant can be the wait of a lifetime, and that's what Jason Hartman has been going through. He fir we first met him in May. He's a Mandan resident who was in the fight of his life against cystic fibrosis. Medical reporter Julie McDonald met up with Jason to see how he's doing. Julie? Monica, Jason's prayers were answered this summer when he received the gifts he'd long been waiting for, two new lungs. This might not look like a big deal, a man walking on a treadmill. But for Jason Hartman, just the simple act of walking was almost impossible a few months ago. Barely breathe. I mean, I, it was just a struggle day in and day out just to keep going. And I couldn't walk very far before I'd have to stop and catch my breath. And it was just panic. For many of us who breathe easily every day, it's hard to imagine what that constant panic even feels like. It was like... That asthma commercial where that f fish is flopping on the ground like it's gasping for air. That's how I felt on a daily basis. Before his transplant, Jason's lung function was down to just 9%. He spent way more time in the hospital than he did at home. We do um, breathing treatments generally four times a day with a medication that helps to keep him breathing. Um, we can do inhaled antibiotics with that too to kind of help battle any infections. We do what we call chest percussion with either our hands or with a uh, machine that just shakes him a little bit to keep to um, break things loose so he can cough it out himself. But after a long, terrible wait, on July 23rd, Jason's life changed. He underwent surgery to get two new lungs and the gift of a breath of fresh air. Jason recovered for a month before coming home and now has quite a bucket list to get to. I look forward to doing stuff I wasn't able to do when I was sick. You know, it's little things you take for granted. Jason still goes to St. Alexius for respiratory therapy three times a week. He says words can't describe what it feels like to breathe again. Monica? I can only imagine. Thanks a lot, Julie.